going on YouTube, GSNoid here. So in today's video we're going to discuss whether you should update to the iOS 16 developer beta 1 and get those new features or stay on iOS 15 and wait for a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a software that allows you to recover lost data from your iOS device, backups and even from iCloud. Definitely check out the free trial in the links below. It can even recover the screen time passcode. So today was the Apple WWDC 22 or Worldwide Developer Conference where Apple of course introduced iOS 16, developer beta 1, and the newest version of macOS, watchOS, and so on. So a lot was discussed at the WWDC, you can check out the keynote which will be available soon on their website, but the most important thing was of course the release of iOS 16 beta 1, which comes with customization for the lock screen, allowing you to have widgets and some custom fonts on the lock screen. Now don't get me wrong, you cannot import your own fonts for the clock over here, they have a couple of typefaces like 6 or 8 or something like that, and you can select through those most of which are pretty bad. Hopefully they will expand on that in the future, but it's not quite the tweaks that you have on jailbreaks for the moment for customizing the lock screen. However, it's the first time ever when default iOS allows you some degree of customization for your lock screen other than the wallpaper. Notifications have been moved at the bottom, the album art when you're listening to music is bigger, and of course there are more ways now to customize your lock screen and change colors and so on, which is actually quite great. As I said, you can add widgets and so on, it's pretty good. But that's about the only feature that is interesting on iOS 16. And if you update to it and of course leave your iOS version that would get a jailbreak, you will very likely regret it because the lock screen customization seems to be the only selling point of this version. Yeah sure there is some Apple Pay improvement, buy now, pay later, split payments, some iMessage cool features and stuff, but nothing major. This is the only major thing that they've added in iOS 16. Now for those of you interested in jailbreaking, if you're running 15.0 to 15.1.1 definitely do not go to iOS 16. Not only that it's not even finished, it's developer beta 1 so it's not even intended for the general public. This is as buggy as it can get being the very first beta. But at the same time you will lose your ability to jailbreak. I know it's been a hard year, iOS 15 turned out to be the hardest iOS version to jailbreak, but we know for sure that Coolstar is still working on the Torin which is very likely going to be released in the near future. We don't know if Uncovered still works on any jailbreak but they might in the background. The exploits are there, the knowledge is there, people are doing jailbreak development in the background. A couple of days ago we got Falza Escape for iOS 15, the very first release to use an exploit in order to get some jailbreak functionality on iOS 15. So progress is being done, I would definitely not advise you to update, especially if you're running 15.1.1 and lower, but even if you run 15.2, 15.3, 15.4, do not update. iOS 16, while looking cool on the lock screen, is buggy as all hell because it's the very first developer beta. And even then, it's still stock iOS. Home screen is not changed at all. There are no new cool features other than the lock screen customization. And you may, of course, get bored by it pretty fast. And unfortunately, if you update to it, you will not be able to go back to a jailbreakable version once Torin gets released. If you still want, though, to install it and you really, really don't want your jailbreak anymore or you don't want to wait anymore for that, I've just made a tutorial on how to get the developer beta and how to install it without a computer. Check it out in the cards or in the links below, I also made a tweet over here. But yeah, I would definitely not advise you to do so, while it looks cool, it's definitely the only selling point of iOS 16 for the moment. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.